The Valley is filled with so much diverse talent. Recently, I sat down with Randy Doney. He began his career as a dancer. He's been on Broadway and on TV, The Gary Moore Show, The Carol Burnett Show, even The Palm Springs Follies, and the list goes on and on. We started out with how his career began. It just happened. Uh, when I started uh, 10 years old, started dancing, started playing the piano, and uh, uh, a lovely lady started teaching dancing in my grammar school. Her name was Mildred Edwards. Later on, it was Mildred Edwards School of Fine Arts, which was great because I had ballet, tap, jazz, all that character dancing, all that kind of stuff, acrobatics. And uh, uh, in, a, in a little house in, in Chicago, and you had to be careful when you did tricks because there's a big beam across the top you'd hit your head you know and that could hurt and that's and that's how my, i started that way but did you do that because you thought that this is what i want to do for the rest of my life or was it just something to do at the time well it was because i think the piano music uh my family liked music i think my father if i remember played by ear a little bit you know and uh uh I just enjoyed moving to music, I guess. I was that kind of person. So how was it that you took that and turned it into a career? What was your first paying job? The first real paying job was My Fair Lady in Chicago, the national company. And uh, I came to dance class one day and the teacher said, there's an audition tomorrow. You're going. Boom. And it was like, that. Go, okay. I hardly remember rehearsals, but the show itself, I mean, it was the most famous show of its time in 1958, it was, 1958, yeah. How do you parlay that one first paying job into the next, into the next, into a career? So I stayed with the show for a year and, and made friends in the show, and a lot of them left, singers and dancers, whatever, and one friend said, uh, I'm going to New York, and if I hear of a show that you might be good for, I'll give you a call. In the meantime, I had left my fair lady, went back to Chicago. He gave the phone call. He said, there's a thing called um, Green Willow, and uh, you'd probably be right for it. So I packed up my things, went to New York. Now my New York career started for six years. Television started, then I did television with Julie Andrews and Carol Burnett at Carnegie Hall. Now I got to perform at Carnegie Hall. <laughs> With these two people, oh my, it was insane. My first real big television show. So when I did this, uh, Julie and Carol Carnegie Hall, the uh, choreographer was um, uh, Ernie Flat, and he came to me one day. He said, "One of our guys is leaving. He's going to do Broadway show. Would you be interested in being on the Gary Moore show?" <laughs> Faint. <laughs> you had to think about Are it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, really. Uh, yeah. Give me a minute. So you go from the Gary Moore show, and that's how you met Carol Burnett. And then, who would have thought? Years later. Years later, then she started her show on television for 11 years. I was there. All right, Mr. Tudball, that's all finished now. All you have to do to get into your office is to press the little button underneath your secretary's desk. <laughs> you know, I saw the clip, and I think it was you. I think it had to be you. You played a plant. With Tim Conway. <laughs> Can I drop a few names? Drop. All right. <laughs> wow. Well, Julie and Carol, you mentioned. Missy Gaynor, Mary Tyler oh. Moore, Perry Como, Alan King, Tim Conway, George Burns. You were on Oscar shows, on Rock Award shows, on Entertainment Hall of Fame shows, David Copperfield. You've been on Alice, Fantasy Island, Love Boat, Johnny Carson. That's just a phenomenal career. To name a few. <laughs> just to name a few. <laughs> Is there one or two people, um, I know you, you keep in touch with uh, Lucy Arnaz because you Lucy worked, lives here now. She's right, but you worked with uh, her mom. Started on that Gary Moore show, worked around the Carol Burnett show, and then I did uh, MAME, the movie MAME with her. Your connection to the desert is strong. Tell me about the Follies because I think this is kind of an interesting story of how you got to be part of that. When I moved here in 1990, 99 it was 1998 99 uh a friend of mine who was in the show said, oh we just lost a guy we just opened and this guy hurt his leg and everything are you interested in doing this show and i went sure why not 
So I came in for the interview with Mr. Markowitz, the director, the producer, and all that. And uh, he liked the way I was dressed. <laughs> but he said, you know, we have old people here in the show, because everybody was above 55 and, and up into their 80s. And uh, we'd take three months to learn all this stuff. You think you can do it? I said, well, well I'm still active. I'm doing my thing. And, and uh, he said, uh, well, all right, let's give it a try. So went to work on Monday to, to uh, um, learn my stuff. Tuesday went into the show. And he went, oh, my God, you know. I'm and and now to, to, for reality, I didn't learn everything, but I learned enough to be in the show. And as the week went on, then I learned everything. And then I spent 15 years there. Well, what a trip for me to hear from you. Thank uh, you. About your career. Any more? We'll do it again sometime. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> There's another chapter. Thank you so much, Jill. Thanks. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Appreciate it.